How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Boy Lie Hobby Time. I recently watched the trailer for the new James Bond movie, which is about to come out, and in it they show a few shots from previous Bond films, including one from Skyfall that involves a train and an excavator. I went back and rewatched that whole sequence and thought, man, this is very dioramable. I should make that. I decided to build the diorama in HO scale, and after playing around with these cars for a few minutes, I became oddly inspired to build a full train layout. I cut up this plank of wood to the size I was looking for, and then I measured out and snipped some railroad tracks to the same length. I couldn't find any passenger cars that looked like the one in the movie, at least not at any hobby stores near my house, and I didn't have time to order one online, so I decided to get something close and just customize it. Luckily these trains are easy to take apart, and you can take out the acrylic windows, keep those safe during the painting. I wanted to use this existing roof, but the raised section in the middle had to go. So I used my Dremel and a cutoff wheel to get rid of that. Then I cut out a piece of O2O styrene to match the size of the leftover roof piece. And I used the back of my X-Acto knife to score some panel lines all the way down the length of the roof. After that I glued the styrene down to the roof using some plastic cement and when that was dry I drilled some holes in the top. I bent some brass rods to make some little rails. In hindsight, I realize that there should have been more vertical supports, but I'm not too worried about it. It was looking pretty good at this point, so I decided it was time to ruin it. I marked out a spot on the end where the excavator would grab it. I got out my Dremel again and started cutting. I made sure to add little marks and imperfections so that it didn't look as surgical, but more like it had been done via the loving hand of an excavator. Did the same thing for the roof. And it is actually quite a joy to cut styrene in this way. I then glued the two roof pieces to their respective car pieces began work on the base of the diorama. I used some thin styrofoam to build up the side with the tracks on it. I carved out a little bevel with my X-Acto knife. I used some hot glue to stick that down. Then I made a paint, plaster, and Mod Podge martini. Stirred, not shaken. I also added some fine grain sand to create a texture that was closer to sand. I smeared that on like I was frosting a long, thin birthday cake, and while the train paste was still wet, I pressed down the tracks and I left it to dry. I primed the train cars, as well as some 3D printed stuff, including a little Land Rover, three smashed VW Beetles, and Daniel Craig himself. I mixed up some Vallejo, Mahogany, and Dark Vermilion to make the base coat for these train cars. I lightened up that same color, sprayed it on a few different areas to add some variance to the surface. Then I finished it off with a dusting of khaki in all the places that needed a dusting of khaki. I also discovered this sweet trick while applying dust to the wheels. After the plaster had dried, I broke out the ballast. I glanced at the instructions and started pouring the little rocks all over the place. I've never done this before, so I think I did it wrong. I also think I got the wrong size of ballast. But I figured out a little system that worked and got everything glued down eventually. 
I will work on this before attempting any other train related builds. I then reassembled the train cars and started painting the beetles. They were supposed to be this model of beetle, not this model, but I couldn't find a good 3D file for the former, so the second had to do. I found this cool little bad boy online and was very stoked to see that it was an HO scale. It was pretty expensive, but at least it came with some nice packaging. It's a very highly detailed model with some really good articulation. But it came with a driver wearing some construction clothes that were pretty bright and noticeable, which would be fine in most cases, but for my purposes, he had to go. His pants were a little reluctant to leave the seat, so I had to pry those out. And then after I had reassembled, I sprayed the whole thing with a matte varnish to prime it. I gave it a wash with a brown wash which I then wiped up with a q-tip and some isopropyl alcohol and I finished off that dirty weathered look with some khaki dust. I then glued down the beetles to one end of the flatbed rail car and I glued the excavator to the top of the beetles and I set those aside to finish the work on the base. I added a little bit more color to the dirt where it met the ballast and then I placed on some vegetation. I sealed the whole thing with isopropyl alcohol and watered down scenic glue, and it was time to paint Mr. Bond. In this scene, he's wearing a light gray suit, a white undershirt, and a dark gray tie. And after I was done painting him, I realized this looks exactly like my little brother. He works at a bank. He's a banker. Last thing to do was to glue down the train cars, the Land Rover, my little brother, and I called it good. That is it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Huge shout out to all of my patrons listed above. You guys are great. Have an awesome week, everyone. I will see you next time.